Today's topic is the binary code behind the universe. You will learn the fundamentals of the binary code, deeper understanding of reality, which will give you more of a connection to the universe, evidence supporting the existence of this code, and how to use the binary code to shape your reality. This is an important one. We have zero and one. This is the binary code of the universe. It underlies everything. It is the source of all creation. The universe is binary in nature, meaning it exists as both something and nothing, on and off, male and female, light and dark. Everything has its polar opposite. At its core, all that exists is zero, representing nothingness, infinite potential, and one representing something, order. Zero represents the feminine, vast, formless, and infinite potential. It is the space from which all things emerge, the womb of creation, the receptive and expansive force. One represents the masculine, structure, form, and order. It is the active principle, the initiator, the force that defines and shapes reality. Together, they create the fundamental duality that underlines existence, the balance between chaos and order, the void and creation, yin and yang. We see this in the masculine and feminine bodies. This is deeply encoded into the fabric of reality. And once you see this, you will never unsee this. So please leave a like on this video if, you're, if you love my content and you love the wisdom that I share with the world. So we see this with the masculine genital areas. Remember, this is the genital area. This is all to do with creation. These are the generative principles, the generative organs in the body that allow creation to continually full, continually outfold into new life. The genital areas are all to do with the code. The male is the one, the action. He's the initiator. The feminine is the zero, which is the infinite potential, the womb of creation, zero and one. This is why we have 10 numbers, zero and one. Masculine and feminine. We even see this in the bodies. The feminine body is made out of curves, which is zero, curves. And the masculine body is made out of lines. So please leave a like and comment if you love this. And if you have any lecture ideas, feel free. And I can uh, make a lecture on any suggestions that you have. So look at the word masculine, masculine, line. Line is just one line, which represents order. One, femme, nine, nine, one and nine equals 10, zero and one, the binary code of all creation. Why is feminine? Why the number nine for feminine? Because the, the moon has to go around nine times to create a human in the feminine's womb. And look at this image of nature. All nature is, is zeros and ones. Now you can tell. The stick is a, is, a, is a one. It's a line. And here we have curves. It's curves and lines. Curves and lines create reality. It creates matter. Everything is zero and one. We even see this with the sky. The sky represents zeros. They represent curves, the heavens, the heavenly bodies, the sun. These are circles, the moon, circles, the planets, circles. Down here is matter, representing the square. We have the Freemasonic square and compass, representing lines and circles, masculine and feminine. We see this with Leonardo da Vinci, with the circle representing the spirit, the void, the womb of creation, and matter which is the body. This is the soul in matter, infinite, infinite potential in matter. This represents spirit over matter. This represents the architect of reality, zeros and ones, spirit and matter. This is all the same thing. Understanding this binary nature of the universe where zero feminine represents the infinite potential and one masculine symbolizes order and structure can benefit you in several ways. Manifestation and creation is the first way it can benefit you. Now that you understand this, you understand that everything comes out of infinite potential, zero, infinite potential, one, action equals manifestation equals creation. So you must pull things out of infinite potential. 
if you have ideas but don't take action, too much, zero, nothing materializes. You'll never materialize if, if you sit there imagining all day, visualizing all day. You have to take action. They both come hand in hand. If you only take action without tapping into intuition and creativity, too much one, your actions may feel hollow and misdirected. Using both effectively leads to greater success in life, work, and relationships. This is the 33rd degree motto, or this is the on the 33rd degree of Freemasonry Scottish Rite logo, and it's called Order Ab Chao, Order Out of Chaos. Chaos is the zero, infinite potential. Chaos is the dimension of the imagination. This is where this all ties in now. Imagination is the dimension of infinite potential, pure potential, formless creativity, and the realm of infinite possibilities. It is the void, the unmanifested energy that contains all that could ever be. That is the imagination. The imagination is the dimension that you are connected to, and you can pull any idea out of and materialize it into a reality. Matter, on the other hand, is order brought out of the imagination, chaos. It is when raw potential is structured, defined, and crystallized into form. This is the fundamental principle of order out of chaos, the process of turning the unseen into the seen, the abstract into the concrete, the dream into reality. That's why we say dreams into reality. Dreams are in the imagination, infinite potential, and the human mind is connected to higher dimensions of consciousness, which we can pull ideas, things out of, and materialize it into our lives. Whether that's good or bad, that's completely up to you. But we have access to higher dimensions beyond the physical plane. And this is the secret that the human mind is connected to. And that you are not just a physical body. Okay? The universe itself was born from chaos. Before form, there was only energy and potential. Our minds function the same way. The mind is a, mic is a microcosm of the universe. Our thoughts exist in an infinite field of possibility but they only become real when we take action and give them form. If your inner world is filled with chaotic thoughts and impulsive emotions and negativity, then creating order within, within is essential for balance, clarity, and growth. What do I mean? Order out of chaos, zero and one. All creation comes out of infinite potential. The mind, the imagination is the infinite potential. The material world is the order. It's the effect. Therefore, if your material world has chaos, if your room is messy, if your body is out of shape, if you do not look after yourself, everything in the physical world is just a reflection of what's going on inside of you, what's going on inside of you. So if, there is a, if you have a messy room in a messy house, this, re, this reflects as a messy mind, a chaotic mind, and we must create order in our mind. So this applies to all realms of your life. This applies with your mind. It applies with your emotions. It applies with your manifestation. It applies with the physical world, with the masculine and feminine. Zero, zero and one is heaven and earth. it's everything. It's duality. It's on and off. It's everything. So it applies to all realms of your life. Okay. So in order for this to benefit our lives, we must, one, have awareness and observe the chaos. Step back and observe your thoughts and emotions without reacting to them. Recognize that you are not your thoughts. You are the observer of them. You are the soul. You are in between them. You are the midpoint between the left and the right, the zero and the one. You are the soul. Journaling or meditation can help you identify patterns and negativity and impulsivity. So it's important that we recognize these patterns. We recognize the chaos within us and we transmute it. Two, implement structure, mental discipline, mindful practices, meditation, breath work, and slowing down your reactions. Cognitive reframing, replace destructive thoughts with constructive ones. This is so, so important. For every negative thought that you place attention to, place your attention onto five more positive. Never think about something that you don't want to manifest. 
Because whatever you're placing attention on inside that mental field of consciousness, you're giving attention to it, giving attention to, which then can manifest into your action and that will materialize into your world. Routine and ritual. Create daily habits that anchor you. Morning routines, exercise, or creative outlets bring stability. We must master the inner world, the inner world of thought and emotion. We must bring chaos into order. In order to create anything in your life, you're turning chaos into order. Order out of chaos. You're turning zero into one. This is the binary code. All things underlie it. Zero and one. So it was so important that we master our minds, we master our emotions, we master our inner world so we can produce effect in the outer world. We cannot create consciously and effectively if we have chaotic thoughts and impulsive emotions. So I hope this has made more clarity to you so you can implement this into your life. I know I haven't given you much strategic things to implement into your life, but now that you have a better understanding of how this world is pulled out of infinite potential, you can use that. Everything in your life is pulled out of your imagination. Every text you send, everything you think of, oh, I'm going to do this later. That is your imagination thinking about the future. So you just have to do this on a mass scale to create something big in your reality. So I hope this gives you a better understanding of how the universe works and has benefited your life. If you have any comments or any suggestions or how this video made you feel, let me know in the comment section. I'd really appreciate it. And I'll see you all inside of the Symbolism Masterclass uh, on March the 8th.